in this video I want to go over how we can write the equation of a parabola, uh, a hyperbola and an exponential graph. So this is the general form of a parabola. Uh, this is the general form of a parabola. This is uh, of exponential graph. Exponential graph and this is the graph of hyperbolic graph or hi uh, hyperbola okay so here this is a parabola and you got a vertex so let's write the vertex the vertex is 3 comma negative 3 comma negative 3 comma 0 0.5 so by just looking at the vertex you can write the equation and this is called the vertex form. So if you look at the vertex, and if you are comparing, uh, I'm talking about the basic parabola, say this is the basic parabola, y is equal to x squared. If you compare this parabola, or if you look at this parabola, based on this uh, basic parabola, y is equal to x squared, what can we say? We can say, well, I'm only looking at the vertex, so the vertex is at 0, 0. For the basic parabola, the vertex is at 0, comma 0. So that basic, parab basic parabola, the vertex of that basic parabola has gone 3 to the left and 0 0.5 up. So you can write, going to the left is, you start with A, we have to find A. So as it has gone 3 to the left, you can write x plus 3. So it's it's a bit counterintuitive. Going to the left means this plus 3 means the basic parabola, the vertex of the basic parabola has gone 3 to the left and it has gone 0 0.5 up and this is plus 0 0.5 like this. So this 0.5 means the basic parabola has gone 0.5 up. Now you have to just find what is A for which we have got one point uh, when x is negative 2, y is 2.5. So we know when x is minus 2, the y is 2.5. So we can put this in this equation because this point is on this parabola. So we're going to put this in this equation and we can figure out a. So this is where you have to be very careful. So this is 0 0.5, sorry 2.5 is the value of y is equal to a times minus 2 plus 3 the whole squared oh I forgot the whole squared yeah I should write a squared yeah the whole squared plus 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 so let's simplify this so this is 2.5 is equal to a times this is minus 2 plus 3 is 1, 1 squared is 1, so a times 1, a times 1 plus 0 0.5. So if you take away 0 0.5 from both sides, so you can say 2.5 take away 0 0.5 is equal to a plus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5. So I'm taking away 0 0.5 from both sides. So this and this gets cancelled. So this is 2 is equal to A. 2 is equal to A. So here we can write, so the final equation is Y is equal to 2 times 2 bracket X uh, plus 3 the whole squared plus 0 0.5. So let's confirm this on a graphic calculator. It's always good to confirm your answer if you have a graphic calculator. So this is my graphic calculator and let me go to graph and then type in the equation which is 2 bracket x <coughs> plus 3 the whole squared plus 0 
and then draw it. So here is a, we have to confirm these two points. So this point is called the minimum. So G solve. And if you press F3, which is minimum, which is minus 3 comma 0 0.5. Okay. And we have to confirm this when X is minus 2, Y is 2.5. So again, go G solve, which is F5. Then press F6. And then press F1. And press negative 2. Here we go, when x is minus 2, negative 2, y is 2.5. So this equation is right. Okay, so moving on. This is something that you can do yourself. So this is, I give this as your work. So you've got this vertex, and you have got 3, 2. Your a would be negative. Okay, so this is something you can do. Okay, I forgot one thing, yeah? So in this question, we have to state the domain. Let me use a different color. We want to state the domain, the domain, the range, and the equation. We wrote the equation. We forgot. Means I forgot to write how, what's the domain and the range. The domain, domain is basically, domain is basically the values of x that you're taking. So the do, values of x is you can see you can take any real number, okay? So domain is all the values, of, uh, the values of x that you have taken for the given function. So here we are allowed to take any value of x. So you can say domain is equal to all real numbers. You can write like this, all real numbers. Now there is a letter for real numbers. If you write r like this, that denotes all real numbers. So your domain is R. R stands for all real numbers. Now range is all the values of all the values of Y. Okay, so domain sorry, domain is all the values of X. So domain, whenever the word domain comes, it's all the values of X. And your range stands for all the values of Y. So here, which is the lowest value? Are you ever going to get negative? You're never going to get negative. The lowest value of uh, y is 0 0.5, okay, which is, you can say, all real numbers greater than 0 0.5 because your values of y is always going to be greater than 0 0.5. So we can write like this, all uh, positive numbers all positive real numbers. You can write all positive real numbers greater than equal to 0 0.5. Your domain is any real number which is greater than or equal to 0 0.5. So that's what it means to write the domain and the range. Okay, so for this you have to state the domain, range, and the equation. Okay, let's move on. Now this is an exponential equation. So let me write the gen, bring copy and paste now. Let me copy this and paste it here. So this is an exponential equation, and this is a general form. Okay, the general form is y is equal to a raised to x plus or minus b plus or minus c. So this is a decay curve. So a, uh, a, can, a has to be between 0 and 1. So we have to find uh, a, b, and c. By just looking at the equation, your horizontal asymptote, so let me write, your horizontal asymptote your horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 1, which implies your c, c is always going, sorry, c is 1. Your y value is always going to be greater than 1. This is never going to approach 1. So this is the asymptote. So directly we can write y is equal to a raised to x plus or minus b plus 1.
because your y value is always greater than 1. Okay, that's why your horizontal asymptote is 1. Now we need to figure out a and b. For that we have got two points. When x is 0, y is 2. So let's put this point in this equation so we can say 2 is equal to a raised to x is 0. So this is plus or minus. I'll write only b. Uh, I'll only write b. So a raised to b plus 1. Now taking away 1 from both sides, I can say a raised to b is equal to 1. So this is one equation, a raised to b is, this is equation, so let me call this equation a. Now if you put this uh, in this equation, what can I say? 1.25, 1.25 is equal to a raised to, uh, a raised to x is 2. So it, uh, I can write 2 plus or minus b, or I'll write plus b, okay? B, if b is negative, this will become negative. So instead of writing plus or minus b, you can write plus b, plus 1. Okay, and taking away 1 from both sides, we can say 0 0.25 is equal to a raised to 2 plus b. 2 plus b. Okay, so yeah. This is your second equation. This is equation B. So from these two equations, we have to figure out A and B. So let me scroll this slightly up. So I'm going to do, if I do like this, A raised to 2 plus B, 2 plus B divided by A raised to B is equal to, what is A raised to 2 plus B? Well, that is 0 0.25. That is 0 0.25 divided by a raised to b is 1. So now using laws of indices, I can say this is a raised to 2 plus b minus b is equal to 0 0.25. Because 0 0.25 divided by 1 is 0 0.25. So this gets cancelled, which implies a squared is 0.25. Now 0.25 can be written as a square of 0.5 squared. So when you're comparing this left hand side with your right hand side, you've got a squared here and you've got 0.5 squared here. So you basically can cancel these squares. So what is a? a is 0.5. A is 0 0.5. So it's a decay curve. So just by looking at this equation, uh, sorry, this graph, you should be able to say that A has to be between 0 and 1 because it's a decay curve. Okay, now we have to figure out B. So let me do the working here. So what is B? So we can use one of the equation. We know A raised to B is 1. A raised to B is 1 and a is 0.5. So 0 0.5, uh, 0.5 raised to b is 1. 0.5 raised to b is 1. Okay. Now what, let me delete this. I need space here. I wanted to think what, what should be my next step. Okay. Now what raised to what raised to b can give you 1? Well, that b has to be 0. Any number raised to 0 gives you 1. So this implies your b is 0. Because 0 0.5 raised to 0, you can say because, because 0 0.5 raised to 0 is equal to 1. So the equation is y is equal to what is a 0 0.5, 0 0.5 raised to x plus 1. Plus 1 is the equation. Plus 1. Okay, so let us 
check this on the calculator. Uh, and let me bring this up. Okay, so yeah, our equation is 0 0.5 raised to x plus 1. Okay, here we go. And we need to confirm when x is, when x is, x is 0, y is 2, and when x is 2, so we need to confirm that. Okay. Okay, so let me just drag this down so that you can see the graph here. So G sol and Y calc when X is zero. When X is zero, Y is two. When X is zero, Y is two. Again, G sol F6, F1. When X is two, Y is 1.25. So we have confirmed the answer. This is the equation. Okay, so this is, this is a, okay, so this is a hyperbola. So let me scroll this down. This is something that you can do as homework. Okay, I forgot to give you the range, domain and the range. So what's the domain here? So let's talk about the domain. So the domain, I'll write df. df means the domain of the function. Which are the values of x you can take? Well, you can take any value of x. Okay, so you can say r is, r is the uh, domain, yeah. And what is range? Rf stands for range. Range is, again, any real number which is greater than 1. We can say all positive real numbers. You can, you can write r plus, r plus 10 million, r plus means all real numbers greater than 1 because it cannot be 1 because it's always greater than 1. So your range is all real numbers greater than 1 and your domain is any real number. Okay, so here, actually this will go down. Okay, so here you have got a a hyperbola. So let me copy and paste the equation of a hyperbola. Copy and paste it here. Okay. You will be given this equation. So here you have got your vertical asymptote is 2 and your horizontal asymptote is 1. So by just looking at the horizontal and the vertical asymptote, you should be able to write the equation like this y is equal to a over x. Your vertical asymptote is plus 2. That means your x cannot be plus 2. x is not allowed to be plus 2. Or in other words, when would the denominator become 0? That's what you have to think. When x is negative 2, x is negative 2, this denominator is going to be 0. So I'm going to write x plus 2. x, uh, x minus 2, sorry. It's going to be, it's basically the opposite of the vertical asymptote. So this is x minus 2. So here, x cannot be 2. When x becomes 2, your denominator is going to be 0. And that's what your vertical asymptote is telling you x, the value of x which is not allowed in the function. Okay, so we'll talk about domain later on. So x minus 2 is the denominator and your horizontal asymptote is x is equal to 1. That means your function, the value of y is either greater than 1, is always greater than 1 or slightly less than 1. So I'll write uh, plus 1. Okay, now this plus 1 means for this branch, this has this will become positive. Okay, so because for this branch, your x is going to be greater than 2. So this is going to be positive. So if this is going to x, if x is going to be positive, or sorry, greater than 2, this whole thing is going to be positive. And this whole thing is going to be greater than 1. I hope you understand. I have not confused you. 
Now, y is equal to a over x minus 2 plus 1. Okay. And now we have to figure out a by plugging in this point or this point. So let's plug in this point. This point is when x is 0, when x is 0, your y is minus 2. So let's put that in this equation. So minus 2 is equal to a over 0 minus 2 is going to be negative 2 plus 1. So now I'm going to take, a, take away 1 from this side, so to take away from this side. So this becomes minus 3 is equal to a over negative 2. Now to cancel this negative 2, divide by negative, I'm going to multiply this by negative 2 on this side. So it also multiply this side by negative 2. So negative 2 and negative 2 gets cancelled, so a is equal to 6 is going to be 6. So the equation of this uh, graph is y is equal to 6 over x minus 2 plus 1. Okay, so let me show this on a calculator. Okay, so let me scroll this slightly up. So now, delete it. And let's type in the equation f1, 6 divided by, I'll put this in the bracket, x minus 2, close the bracket, plus 1. So these are the two branches. So let me scroll this to this side. So, so let me show these two points. When x is negative 1, y is 1. So g is all y calc when x is negative 1, y is, when x is negative 1, y is, y is also negative 1, sorry, this should be negative 1, okay, doesn't seem proper, this is, yeah, this is negative 1, okay, and when x is 0, y is 2, you can also go y intercept, when x is 0, y is negative 2, to show the horizontal and vertical asymptote, just to show you, so if you type in y is equal to 2, you can see the, uh, not y is equal to, y is equal to 2. This should be, this should have gone the other way around. Sorry, I have made a mistake. So this line, sorry, it's good to check. So this line is called x is equal to 2, sorry. This is x is equal to 2, and this line is, y is equal to 1. This horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 1. So it's good I have checked. So I have to type in y is equal to 1. Okay. So this is your horizontal asymptote and your vertical asymptote is x is equal to 2. For that you have to go to type and you have to type in f4 and type in 2 and so that you can see both the, can you see? This is your vertical asymptote, which is x is equal to 2. And this is your horizontal asymptote, y is equal to 1. And this line, this graph is going to approach this. Never going to approach this on this side. And if you go on this side, you can see this is slightly going to be less than, less than 1. Okay, on this side, this will be approaching 1 from below and you're going to approach one from above. And that's why this is a horizontal asymptote y is equal to one, and this is your vertical asymptote x is equal to one. Okay, so yeah, yeah, I have done this correctly, yeah? So yeah, again, you have your vertical asymptote x, x is equal to negative three, and your horizontal asymptote is y is equal to negative two. So you can try to do this. So let's talk about Let's finish up with the domain here. So what's the domain here? Domain is interesting here. It is any real number other than 2. You can write like this, all real numbers. You can take any real number except 2. All real numbers except 2. Except 2. 
if you want to write this mathematically, this is how you write. This is R minus 2. So you do a braces like this. R, all real numbers, except or minus 2. That's the domain. And what's your range? Ranges. Range is this is never going to approach 1. You can say range is all real numbers except 1. You can say range is all real numbers other than 1. It will never approach 1. It will be either be above 1 or less than 1. So for your domain, you have to exclude x is equal to 2. And for range, you have to exclude y is equal to 1.